It's been over 20 years since Yamaha gave the world an R7, but it looks like that's about to change with news of a new model in the pipeline, with the filing of a registration of the title YZF R7. It's expected to be revealed later this year or early in 2022. But why should we be excited? Are we excited? I am. 1999 was not only a year so good that Prince wrote a song about it, but it was also when Yamaha revealed their world superbike homologation race bike, the R7. Built to compete against the Ducati 996s, Honda RC45s, Suzuki GSX-R 750s and Kawasaki ZX-7RRs. Strangely, the R7s didn't sell that well in the dealerships when they launched. They only made 106 horsepower as standard and you needed a race kit to bump up the power to 160 horsepower. Some dealers at the time were reported to have discounted them to £15,000 just to get rid of them. Today though, they're very much an iconic bike and you'd be looking at 25 to 30 grand to buy a used one. Not surprising though, they're fantastic bikes to ride. They're just really nicely balanced and even with just over 100 horsepower, they make loads more torque than say an R6. They're also gonna make you smile every time you open the garage door. I mean, just look how happy I am in this photo. Which brings us to 2021. Yamaha's filing of the YZF R7 name got me thinking. What would an R7 today look like? It's almost certainly going to use the MT07 parallel twin engine as the 689cc capacity that's been filed is exactly the same as the MT07s. And although it's well down on power, making just 74 horsepower instead of the old R7's 106 horsepower, it does fill a gap in the market for a low budget, sporty parallel twin. And when I say sporty, think of the 2021 Aprilia RS660. It makes 100 horsepower, but it also costs just over 10,000 pounds and people are loving it. A new R7 or an R07 would probably undercut that price by quite a bit. The MT07 comes in at just under £7,000, so a sports version with a fairing would likely be nearer £8,500. That's my guess anyway. I wanted to imagine what the new R7 might look like if it used not only the MT07 parallel twin engine, but also the MT09 triple. Oh, and a 750 version of the R6 engine as well, just for good measure. So I'm going to stop waffling on, and with the power of Photoshop, I'll show you what I came up with. Enjoy. Enjoy. 